And now for some final thoughts on telescopes in space. At the moment, there's about a dozen telescopes of different sizes and shapes out there in space, each providing a clear view of the cosmos. Most, from the public's point of view, perform their duties anonymously. Not so the Hubble Space Telescope, the beloved Hubble Telescope, with its crisp, colorful, stunning images of the cosmos. Hubble came of age in the 1990s, just when public access to the internet was growing exponentially. Students in high school today have never known a time without Hubble. This marvelous instrument brought the universe into our backyard, our living room, our computer's screensavers, with images so beautiful, they don't even need captions. You're content just looking at them. Back in 2004, when NASA announced that Hubble would not receive its fourth servicing mission, which would prolong its life another five years, maybe 10, there was an outcry. And the loudest voices were not the scientists, but the general public. There were op-eds, letters to the editor, talk show debates, all urging NASA to restore the funding and keep Hubble alive. At last, Congress reversed NASA's decision. Hubble will be serviced. I gotta tell you, I know of no time in the history of civilization when the general public banded together to save a scientific instrument. So perhaps for another decade, Hubble will continue to do what it does best, bringing the universe down to Earth. And that is the cosmic perspective.